Hi, in today's video I am going to show you how you can automatically place arrows on the chart using MQL5. As you can see in the background I am currently placing two different types of arrows. Green buy arrows and red sell arrows. So before we jump into actually programming the code, we have to think about what we actually need in order to place an arrow. To do so, we always need a coordinate on the chart. We are on a two-dimensional chart, meaning we have an axis that, contain, that contains the price values as doubles, and we've got this one right here, the horizontal scale, that contains daytime variables. So for each arrow, we need one date and one price value. To access them, we are going to use the MQL rates structure. Okay, so here we are. I've just created a brand new expert advisor. And inside the global scope, we are going to create an MQL rates array. So let's just say MQL rates, let's call the array bar. And this array will basically hold previous and current bar values, such as the open, the high, the close, the low. I've actually made a video about this structure. I'm going to link to it in the description. So next, inside the on initialization function, we are going to set the array as a series, meaning we are going to reverse the order, meaning the newest element is at index zero. Okay, and inside the onTick function, first we have to use the copy rates function. This basically copies all the previous bar data inside our MQL rates array. So we want to copy the data for the current symbol, the current period, starting with the current bar. Let's say for the past 10 bars, and we want to copy them into the bar array. Okay, next let's just add two basic if statements. The first one is to check whether we can whether we can place a buy arrow. The second one is to check whether we can place a sell arrow. So let's check if the close of the previous bar is above the close of the bar before. And the other way around, if the close of the last bar is below the close of the previous bar. So, okay, let's just create the arrows. To create an arrow, we say object create. Chart ID is zero. And now we have to give the object a unique name. So let's just say by arrow plus time to string and the time, the opening time of the last bar because that's the only way to have a unique name. We are going to place many different by arrows so all of them need a different name and to achieve that we are going to use the opening time of the bar. Okay, now we can select what type of object we want to create. In this case, a by arrow, object arrow by. We don't want to place it in a sub window, so let's say zero. And the data date time variable is the opening time of the last bar. And the price is the same bar, but because we want to place a buy arrow, we are going to say the high of the bar. 
let's just copy the function and let's do the same for a cell arrow. We have to change the object. We have to say object arrow cell. The coordinate is again the time of the last bar, but this time not the high, but the cell, uh, the low, sorry. Okay, and usually this code is enough, but let's add another line of code and let's say object object set integer. We can use this function to modify an object. So again, current chart. The name is by arrow plus time to string and the opening time of the previous bar. And now we can select what we want to change. And for example, let's say object property color. Usually a by arrow is colored blue, but let's say color green. So this way we basically change the color from blue to green. Let's compile it. Seems to work and let's check it out. Okay, so here we are inside the strategy tester. And you can see we are currently placing by arrows up here. There's a, there's a cell arrow. Let's speed this up a bit. And you can see we are placing the arrows at the appropriate place, either at the high or at the low. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. If you've learned anything new, feel free to leave a like and if you are interested in developing your own expert advisors or automated trading robots, then feel free to subscribe. See you next time. Bye.